with HeroNews.org and HIVHero.org, and I'm here at the Women's Event 16, where we're honoring some of the most amazing women in history and in the world to benefit the LGBT Center in New York City. I'm here with Edie Windsor. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You look glamorous and white and gorgeous as ever. Thank you so much. Why is being here supporting the center so important to you? Uh, the center has always been important to me since the first day that they came around looking for money to give the city, uh, what do you call it, when you're going to show the city that you can afford to buy it? Okay, when we were just talking about buying the building, right. the center, okay. So the center has always been important to me. It's yeah. an amazing place. They help so many things, so many different services. I love the center. They're partnering with us. We have tons of information about them on our, our site. And congratulations on your heroic victory. How do you feel? Thank you so much. I love it. I love the whole gay community, and they're loving me back. So it's, you know, what could be better? What's not to love? And we're a site for newly diagnosed people living with HIV. Do you have a message about being, the importance of being safe and protected out there? Well, of course we have to be protected, and of course we have to be careful, and of course we have to take advantage of everything we can at this point. Uh, yeah, I, I one, at one point very early, I did a smoke smoke enders class with a bunch of lesbians, and I said I want to put an ad in. I want the guys, and they wouldn't come You're because it was before there were medications, and they were saying, "What's the use?" You know, okay. So now, okay, it's so important, one, the medications, but two, you know, careful sex, for Christ's sake. Yes. Our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Huh? Do I think? Yes, I think condoms are very hot. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much for everything you do, and you're a true hero. Thank you so much. Very I nice love to it. meet you. This is Mike Kavanaugh with Hero News, and I'm here with Laverne Cox. How are you? I'm lovely. How are you? You are lovely. You're gorgeous, <laughs> I have to tell you. Thank you so much. Okay, we love the show, Orange is the New Black. I just have to tell you, we have parties at our house, and we, we run them one to another, and I've seen the series three times. How fabulous is it? Oh, I love hearing that. You've watched, and usually when I hear folks who've watched two or three times, that they, you see different things the second time, right? You miss some things the first time you watch so quickly. That's Absolutely. lovely. It's so brilliant. What I love about it is it's such strong characters for women in this, I even though you're... I love that too, and we're at women's event 16, <coughs> excuse me, we're at women's event 16, so it's lovely to be on a show that really, I think, empowers women's stories and tells complicated women's stories. I'm super proud to be a part of that. Where do you film it? Is it a real prison? No, we, we built a set at Kaufman Studios in Queens, at, uh, in Astoria, Queens, and we also shoot it in upstate New York, in Orangeburg, New York, ironically, okay. and in an old children's mental facility in Orangeburg. Oh my God. So tell me what's your favorite part about doing the show. Everything. <laughs> I, a blast. Oh, we have an amazing time. The cast is incredible. A lot of the cast is here tonight. I'm so excited and honored that they've come out um, to support me and to support Women's Event in the center. Um, it's. I love. I love. I just love having a complicated, nuanced character. Even this second season, we're shooting things, and I've, I'm getting to do things as Sophia that I've never gone to do before. And we're seeing different dimensions of this woman. And human beings ha are multidimensional, multifaceted people. And I love that. <clears throat> excuse me. I love that our writers have written such, um, such deep, um, nuanced characters that I get to play. It's unbelievable. And you're winning an award tonight, aren't you? It's so it's so weird um, being getting awards and stuff, you know. And, and it's it's a it's a tough week for me, I have to say. It's I've been traveling a lot, but it's also Trans Day of Remembrance on Wednesday, and and it's the day that we remember the members of, of the trans community who we've lost to violence, and it. it it's, it's hard for me to have sort of be getting awards and being celebrated when so many of my transgender sisters are, are being murdered in the streets and are being discriminated against on, on such um, massive levels. Well, we have the center as a resource. Is there an organization that you would recommend for people to get to donate to or help? Get help from? Well, I mean, the Gender Identity Project at the center has been doing amazing work over the years, particularly for trans people of color, as of late with Christina Herrera at the helm. But there's there's Trans New League of Defense and Education Fund, there's the Silver Rivera Law Project. There's a lot of organizations that are doing amazing work for the trans community that people should give money to and then and then also support. There's, there's a trans woman named Ilan Nettles who was murdered on August 6, 17th of this year, and her killer is still at large. The charges were dropped against him on Tuesday, actually, because they don't have enough evidence. So we need justice for Ilan. So people can call District Attorney Vance and let him know that we, as a community, want justice for Elon Nettles. Okay, we're going to get that message out there, so please go to one of those organizations. Go to the center and make a big donation because we need all the money we can get to fight these things. And You're, you're just so amazing. Uh, what do you think about the center and the work they do? 
The center I have a long, long history with. For me, about 13 years ago, I found support groups, trans women support groups at the center that, first of all, gave me support and, and made me feel like I wasn't alone in my journey towards my womanhood. And then also I met amazing women who um, introduced new possibilities of what I could be as a trans woman. I, I met women who were stockbrokers and real estate agents and computer technologists, and I was like, well, what can I do as a trans woman? So, so And then I did a, a video called Transgender Basics in 2005, with the um, Gender Identity Project, and I'm so proud to say that that video is still being used all over the country in um, Trans 101 education and um, educational institutions and incorporations. Uh, so the center has been a like, huge part of my life for a long time. We are so happy you are here supporting the center, and it's so great to have a transgender main character on TV, and it's such a hit show, winning all kinds of awards. You are so great in this in this role, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm having a blast. And we're a site for newly diagnosed and people living with HIV. Do you have a message about the importance of being safe and being protected? I think, gosh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be talking about, um, for, for the Creative Change, I'm doing the keynote address for the Creative Change, Creative Change Conference, and HIV education and awareness is a huge part of the conference this year. And for me, I just as a trans woman, I think it's about how do we create spaces where we value trans women's lives. Trans women are, are at a at disproportionate risk for HIV, um, as uh, some people know and some people don't know. So for me, I think it's about valuing our lives uh, to, to use protection. And if we are uh, living with HIV, to um, have access to medication so it can, like, the quality of our lives can be better. Our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? I do. I do. Condoms are hot. Thank you so much. Very much. Very fun talking to you. Congratulations you on so your much. work. Thank you so much. It's the orange brigade. I can't wait.